quick video. I want to talk about how strong is Biscuit? I ain't even gonna lie. I like Biscuit. She's one of my favorite characters because she's such an OG. And she was the one that taught Killian Gone the next level of Nen. Using things like code, can how to improve their Nen category. She's a good teacher. And what really t my interest is that she's hiding her real form. Like her true form is like tall and muscular which I think that would have to make her stronger. I know people think that doesn't make her stronger, but it, it should. Because she ended up one shot in one of those bummer guys. And according to the data book, Biscuit is ranked 26. She's like one point above Corlo. And she she's stronger than Quarlo and stronger than Hisoka. And she's a transmuter. She has like a transmuter ability where she can just change the substance of her aura and, and shape it like some kind of maid type of person. And who's to say that she doesn't have a different variation of that ability? Like she can make a maid with her transmutation, a maid that can amp up her nin, her raw nin, or a maid that can amp up her nin category. Since she's a transmuter, she can use a maid to amp up her enhancement to 100% category, but in the stage, her transmutation will go down to like. 80% for a certain period of time just to balance it out she can do the same thing for conjuration and let's say she can make a, a made ability that has destructive force capability like she can just merge herself with the maid and take on the maid's ability or something like that. And who's to say she has a different transmutation ability? And she might have like a conjuration ability that can probably improve her maid's ability or just have a different ability with it entirely. She might have an enhancement ability because she's close to enhancement. And who's to say she doesn't have another ability far out, like a admission ability? Yeah, the mission. Because she's a veteran. She's a veteran NIN user. She's like in her 50s. So she should have enough time not only to develop her NIN category and the two NIN categories close to her, but another NIN category that's outside her domain, like admission or manipulation. I mean, she can have a crazy ability just like Natero. And she would have to, she would have to have some kind of crazy ace in the hole because she said that, you know, men battles, anything can happen. A can end up being D because D had a bad day. D was off or A met requirements, especially at, like for a nin ability. So, she would have to have sun up her sleeves just to have confidence like that. Either that or she has a couple things up her sleeve she hasn't taught going to kill it yet. Like different nin techniques. 
which can go to my theory about having above advanced NAND techniques, super NAND techniques. That's why I call them. Let's just say that she has a NAND ability that can increase her battle power. They'll probably put her rank up from 26 to 27. They'll make her around UP. A UP is 27. And the rest of Roy Gloves, that's 28. But I would consider Biscuit at full power to be a top, top two, top one Phantom Troop member, or, may, or maybe above. Because in the data book, she is kind of ranked above Warlow. But of course, that doesn't exactly mean anything. Rankings don't necessarily mean anything when it comes to a NIN battle because anything can happen. If you use your NIN correctly or you got some kind of ability, anything can happen. And to be honest, I think things would have went differently if Biscuit went with them. The same thing goes for Zeno and Silva. If Zeno and Silva and Biscuit went with them, helped them fight, especially against the Roy Guards, things would have went out. Things would have went out differently. Somebody would have caught a body. I'll say that, but this is it. Biscuit is definitely like top one, top two, or maybe above Phantom Troop level. And I'm out.